Hello, everybody. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Um, thank you to everyone who came to the uh, to my live last night as well. Uh, so today, I um, figured I'd answer another question that I guess asked a lot. Uh, a lot of people asked me to do a tour of my room, show off all my uh, posters and stuff like that. So, um, so yeah, I figure I will uh, give that a shot today. And... Uh, We'll see how that goes. Um, just All right, so let's start uh, right above my computer, right above my desk. Uh, I've got a uh, couple of uh, Kiki's Delivery Service uh, posters. Because uh, I love that movie. It's a very good movie. And I love uh, this one especially. That was, that was just a gorgeous view, honestly. Ghibli movies have the best uh, designs, the best art. Uh, moving to beside my desk, uh, this one is uh, Chihiro and Haku from Spirit Away, along with the giant baby and the, uh, yeah. and that one's super cute. Uh, I got this one at a, uh, at Ottawa Comic Con a couple years ago. Um, Wish I could remember the, uh, the artist, uh, but, uh, couldn't find, couldn't find her name. Um, but yeah, I mean, that is just gorgeous art. And then over here again, unfortunately I can't remember the, the artists of any of these pieces. Yeah, this is, uh, this is Princess Mononoke. Um, that's Mononoke herself. And that, yeah, that one is just absolutely stunning art. Um, just beautiful use of, uh, color. Uh, moving over here, um, I call this my cute cubby. Um, I've got, uh, some bobbleheads, um, Agent Carter over here, um, Sailor Mercury, uh, Spider Gwen, who has one of the best uh, costumes, Ms. Marvel, because she's one of my favorite characters. 80s punk rock Storm, hell yes. Uh, 90s Storm, 90s uh, Cyclops. Um, got a bunch of My Little Pony figurines. Got even more back here. Oh, and uh, that is uh, Ego from the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. More ponies, and then stuffed uh, Fluttershy and Rarity. Uh, and I've got a bunch of uh, pins down here. Um, that's the photo that Meredith McLaren drew of my Tim Tim. Uh, let's see. See his face, Cowboy. That one is from the uh, from a Kickstarter I backed. Uh, actually, all these pins are from Kickstarters. Uh, oh, happy dagger, this is thy sheath. Look at how happy that, uh, yeah, look at how happy that dagger is. Uh, Scarlet Witch. Um, the following pins are all by, uh, Shelby. Shelby Wolf. Uh, so yeah, uh, Scarlet Witch. Um, Ms. Marvel, or Captain Marvel, sorry, Captain Marvel. Best Vereen, Laura as uh, Wolverine, Dazzler, Jubilee, uh, Kitty Pride, and Storm, and uh, Emma Frost. And there's a patch, Xavier School for Gifted, Mute, uh, Gifted Youngsters uh, patch, which I could uh, definitely put on. Uh, posters in here. The Sailor Scouts. Um, by color. Love that one. The Peanut Gang as uh, crew of the Enterprise. Gotta love that one. Uh, there. Um, poster for one of the Heartless Bastards albums, uh, Arrow. Speaking of which. There's the vinyl of the album. 
And there's the vinyl of uh, Erica Hender, uh, sorry, Erica Wennerstrom's uh, so, uh, solo album, um, Sweet Tomorrow, or Sweet Unknown, sorry. Forgot the name of it for a second. That's either a Buddha or a Dionysus. Uh, not sure which. Um, focus, Damien. Uh, my mom got it for me for Christmas one year. Um, honestly, not sure why uh, Why she thought that would be, like, my taste. But it's cute. Uh, what else? There's uh, Miles Morales' Spider-Man. Again, just awesome. Uh, Mystique, done by the same woman who did my uh, print, who did that Princess Mononoke. Um, again, gorgeous use of lines and colors. She looks super badass here. Uh, over here, Howell's Moving Castle. Um, that is uh, fan art rather than an official poster. Uh, two official posters of Arietti. Love this one, honestly. It, uh, this does such a good job sort of highlighting her. It's, uh, I love the, the leaves. Love her just hiding among the leaves. Looks so good. And uh, another Ariadne one. Discover a secret world within our own is the headline, is the uh, tagline there. And, uh, yeah, that one's cool. Over here, I've got a Nightcrawler that uh, is very hard to see. Um, it's like a uh, metallic, uh, metallic uh, art, which uh, looks very cool. Uh, back around here, um, these ones everyone's seen. They sit over my shoulder when I'm at my desk. Uh, Cowboy Bebop, that's an official, uh, poster. This one is fan art, and it is so good. Just phenomenal art. Um, and an adorable little Ein. Ein! Uh, so that's everything that's on my walls. It's not all the posters I have. There's a bunch that uh, I probably should, that I do want to get hung up. In the meantime... Here's a little Timbit for you as well. Hi, Tim. Hi, Tim. Uh, let's see if I can get this one unrolled. Um, give me one second here. There we go. I had to find something to lay it down a little bit. Um, this is a poster for new Heartless Bastards album, A Beautiful Life. Fantastic album, by the way. And, uh, yeah, it's just a really cool poster, I think. The uh, comic there is Servant of the Black Dog by Meredith McLaren. And uh, what else here? Baby Groot. Um, this one, funnily enough, was actually just by uh, someone's uh, little brother. Um, which obviously made it uh, a very popular uh, print. Uh, Snake Eyes by Larry Hama himself. Because hell yeah. Puck! Uh, so for those who don't know, Puck is a character from a comic called Alpha Flight. He is Canadian. He is short, fast, and hard, hence the name, and uh, he's awesome. Um, and he was in the uh, the Immortal Hulk uh, series that uh, just ended, so you can always look at him there. Uh, a very nice uh, bit of art of Stan the Man Lee. Uh, this one's pretty cool. Jean Grey as Phoenix. 
Jean Grey as Dark Phoenix. So yeah, I think that's, uh, I'd love to, it's two separate photos, I'd love to get those on the wall at some point. And what else? Silk print. Actually, that's not even a uh, print. Um, that's just, uh, yeah, just a bit of art that the uh, guy did. So, Silk, whose solo, who solo stuff is great. And Spiral, who is uh, an absolutely wonderful uh, X-Men foe. And I think that's it in that package. Um, so... A very nice, uh, very cool Spider-Man there. And nothing in here. An utterly adorable uh, Star Wars uh, poster. Through the ages. It is super cute. I love it. Uh, okay. Sorry, give me a second to get this thing open. Catra and Scorpia in their Princess Prom outfits from the first uh, season. Looking amazing. These are by Jen Bartel. Um, and yeah, that is... Jen Bartel's work is just absolutely amazing. Um, definitely check her out. Uh, she's done a lot of covers, some interiors. Um, right now she's uh, working on... Uh, I mean, yeah, sort of working. Um, it's a long, long process because uh, she's uh, doing commission... Uh, like, doing real work on the side as well, like doing, like, paid work. Well, she works on a uh, Final Fantasy VII uh, art book. Um, one that is going to be very thirsty and horny. <laughs> but also really sweet and uh, really funny and just honestly looks great. Uh, again, check out uh, Jan Bartel's art. She's amazing. And uh, this is just a couple of, uh, you know, bookmark and uh, image thing. those away in a minute. Spider Gwen. Uh, I believe this is by the same artist who did uh, the Miles Morales, I think. I think this is the same artist. Maybe not. I thought it was, but it might not be. Gorgeous uh, Princess Serenity. Sailor Moon. Again, lovely. This is actually, uh, this is actually an official cover. Um, like, I believe this was used as the cover for one of the Marvel Zombies comics. Uh, it's an homage to, uh, I forget which issue of X-Men it is, but uh, an issue of X-Men, um, that showed the first meeting between these three uh, back in World War II. And uh, it was great. Um, so yeah, this is uh, Arthur Soydem. Comes with a certificate of authenticity. Uh, give me a second to get that back in. Amazing storm, 80s punk storm. I'm drawing, an, I'm drawing a blank on the artist's name. Um, it's one that I love. Um, he does the most amazing layouts. Um, I just cannot uh, think of his name right now, unfortunately. Hmm. 
Nelvana, Nelvana of the Northern Lights. Um, this I got from a uh, Kickstarter for a uh, book about uh, like collecting all the Nelvana comics. Uh, she was a Canadian superhero uh, back in the uh, late 30s and into the 40s. Um, honestly, her comic was actually pretty good. Um, the art was uh, much better than it uh, than I usually find of uh, of thirties and forties comics, and uh, there was some fun stuff going on. Um, there was some racist stuff uh, towards both uh, Japanese and towards uh, the uh, the Inuit uh, who live in uh, northern Canada. It's kind of it's kind of the the time um the creator whose name again i am drawing a blank on uh but yeah the guy who created nelvana he was clearly trying to be progressive in his uh in his presentation of uh inuit people but you know it was the 30s but still um great character and a uh, great comic, and I wish we would get more comics with her, honestly. I'd love to see her uh, brought back uh, some more, m some modern comics uh, about her. Uh. Stay open. There we go. Scott Pilgrim vs. the World poster um, that I got in a box set uh, collection of the uh, of the series of the book series. All his evil exes, all his friends. I loved the uh, the comic. Is uh, just like. Honestly, I love this, the uh, Scott Pilgrim comics. They're, they're really good. Storm flying into the wind. That one's just funny. Please do not leave drinks unattended. The cat is an asshole. Adorable. Uh, raccoons. The ninja animal that eats from dumpsters. Raccoons are very uh, cute as well. I don't think this is from anything. It's just a, a really cute image. Yeah, these were, uh, these ones were Isabel Angel. So these ones I actually do know the, uh, the artist. Um, Mass Effect. Uh, these are the Reapers. Um, very cool looking. Oh, and this one, uh, Jillian Newland. And some Zelda stuff. Hero of Hyrule. Uh, this is by the uh, same artist who did the... Uh, um, which one? The Serenity? The Sailor Moon one? I love Zelda there in the background. Speaking of Zelda... There's Zelda! With Link in the background. And she's looking very cute. Uh, more Zelda. Sword in the Stone. Ooh, just a lovely, lovely image. Uh, Jillian Newland again. Oh, and this is by the same artist who did my, uh, who did this, the, uh, 
more Miles Morales uh, link. This is by Jeff Isherwood, um, who is uh, best known for his work on uh, Doctor Strange. Um, yeah, he's a pretty big deal, um, pretty major uh, comic book, uh, or Canadian comic book artist. Uh, I believe he teaches in Montreal. Um, and then there's this one, um, the cast of, uh, you know, the cast of the new Star Wars movies. Dread Fun is the uh, guy who did that one. Uh, and I've got some postcards and bookmarks and stuff. That's for the new uh, Heartless Bastards album. Uh, adorable little Isabel Angel thing. Um, this is uh, just her advertising her comic, uh, Little Moments of Joy. Uh, her webcomic. It's, uh, it is very cute. It's a very cute webcomic. A lot of relatable stuff in it. Something very magical happens when you read a good book. Uh, this is the one with Bear. Um, he's one of the artists I, uh, or they, uh, one of the artists, uh, whose, uh, art I showed off, uh, the one with Bear. Uh, this was A Voyage to Panjacant by, uh, Marguerite... I'm blanking on her name. Uh, I don't think that one is com uh, that book is completed yet, uh, or I don't think it's been uh, released yet. But it's one I backed on Kickstarter. Uh, Brainy Bird Creations, another of the uh, artists whose work I showed there. Thanks for your support. Uh, I forget the artist, but Raven Steals the Light was the book. I totally blank on the uh, person who made it. Um, these postcards are all from uh, Moonshot 2, the Indigenous Comics Collection. Um, this one is uh, Iluk by Alexandria Neonakis. Very pretty. Um, Katapwa, created by uh, Trudy Castle, um, for a story written by uh, Alina, Pe uh, Alina Pete. Again, very lovely. Uh, they Who Walk as Lightning, um, art by Richard Pace, story by uh, Elizabeth La Pense. Hot damn. And uh, cover art by Stephen Gladue. Again, these are all just like pieces of illustration from that. The Verge, which I'm pretty sure I haven't read yet. Um, Under the Street Light. Is there a song here? James Liswood uh, did uh, this particular piece. Uh, this one is Alberta Pessoa.
also Alberta Pessoa. And uh, another Alberta Pessoa. Another bookmark from Isabel Angel. Yeah, that's just a thank you from Shelby Wolf. Uh, speculative Fiction for Dreamers, a Latinx uh, anthology. Uh, I believe I did read that one, and it was very good. Uh, this is a poster I actually received, uh, a postcard I received from uh, Erica Wennerstrom uh, when I backed her, uh, her Patreon, which uh, she has since uh, taken down. And uh, there's another one, actually. And uh, that is, uh, I believe that is it. Um, and I mean, there's, you know, boxes and boxes and boxes with uh, comics and uh, a few boxes with novels. Um, I once got some books. Um, so, yeah. Endless supply of, uh, just so many books and comics, including some that I can't, uh, I need to get uh, another box, uh, to put some of these away. And let's finish off with, uh, going back to Timbit. Hi. Hi, girl. Hi, girl. Uh, so that's the tour of my room. And, uh, I hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, so thanks for, thanks for watching, and, uh, have a great day.